Are you dealing with some tricky hip pain that you can't get rid of? Well, Zach here, who's a college athlete, had the exact same situation that you may be dealing with. Let me show you exactly step by step what we did to get rid of that hip pain. So the first thing we do with situations like this is we have to assess his hip mobility. If his hip isn't functioning properly, the tissues around it are not gonna function properly. I take him through a series of hip ranges of motion. I do what's called an impingement test. That was negative, he had no pain coming up here. He also had good range of motion. He could get his hip to 120 degrees. Next, we go to internal rotation, which you can see he's really good here. What we found was when we take him into Patrick's Faber's test here, or external rotation, you can see his hip kind of stays up here. So what should happen is this should drop all the way down. Now he's a little bit improved here because we've treated him, but when we started, he was up like this. Let me show you what we did to fix this. All right, so the first move we did was the hip airplane. He had some restriction in the back side of his glute and his capsule. So let's coach you through the hip airplane. We wanna start chest parallel to the ground. We want the ankle, knee, and hip fairly in line. Now he likes to have his knee bent a little bit to feel the stretch, which is fine. Everybody's a little different. We're gonna turn his belly button towards that hip until he gets a nice big stretch through here. He's gonna push through the ground and he's gonna lift up like a dog at a fire hydrant, hold for two seconds. Now we're gonna turn back into it. Hold, hold, hold. Now we're gonna take this leg and straighten it out and reach back. You're gonna get a huge monster stretch through here. We're gonna hold that for a few seconds and we're gonna rotate up and down. Now I want you to do two sets of eight to 10 reps of this and then we retest to see how that movement looks. We always like to retest to make sure that hip is in a good position and movement is where it should be. So we cross this over and you can see now he drops right down with any issue. So now that we've got the range of motion back, we're gonna test strength to ensure that whatever we apply is applying to a nervous system that knows how to fire the muscles the right way. So let's roll you on your side. We're gonna test this glute medius this is always the first muscle to shut off when you have a non-centrated hip or a hip that's not functioning well. So we're gonna come out this way. We're gonna point the toe downward. Hold me right there, don't let me move you. Give me all you got. Now you can see with as strong as he is, hold me again, give me everything you got. I can move him quite easily through that range of motion because his glute meat is not firing. Let's turn that glute meat on. Okay, my go-to move to turn on that glute medius is a half side bridge with a little resistance. Now, for an athlete like him, I've gotta give him some resistance because he's so strong. For a regular everyday person, just body weight alone will generally be enough. So let's get you up into that top position. We wanna keep the foot, ankle, and knee all connected. We wanna push the knee to the ground. That's gonna turn on that lower glute medius. Now fight me, but let me win. Now I'm giving him resistance, now push back against me. Now that glute meat's firing when he pushes back against me. Now we're gonna sit back like we're squatting. We're gonna come back up. Fight me, let me win. Push back against me and then sit back. Now we're gonna go until he fatigues out on that side and then we're gonna retest that leg and see if that glute is firing. All right, so after we do that half side bridge, we're gonna come back and retest that. So we're gonna get you up here Turn that foot down. Now, feel for that glute med right there. Don't let me move you. Now you can see I'm pushing really hard. That's not going anywhere. Now he's ready to do some dynamic training. Now because his hip wasn't properly centrated into the socket, that was over firing his groin and he complained about he couldn't turn on his glute or feel his glute at the bottom of a squat. So this is what we did to correct that. Let's rack that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down into the bottom of his squat. He's gonna push against the band. Now what I had him do is I had him stay here, which is where he felt like he couldn't feel his glute. Now let's open and close against the band. Now abduction here is gonna get that glute firing. It's gonna tell his brain, hey, we need to use that muscle. Now he's gonna go back down into that, pushing the band apart. Give me three or four more reps. Feel for that glute to turn on. Now let's do some normal reps while we're trying to break that band open. And while he gets into that position where it wasn't firing, the brain knows to turn it on now because we've primed it and that's gonna help him get better, not older. So remember, if you've got some sort of hip issue, always assess the hip range of motion, assess the strength of the glutes, improve range of motion, get the strength back in the glutes, 
and that is gonna get you better, not older. I hope you like this content. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check me out on the socials at Hey Dr. Rob, and get ready because the Hey Dr. Rob app is coming out soon.